guys, I'm Hillicus. Welcome to our first mini podcast. Me and Tamak have decided um, that as well as our major podcast, which happens every two weeks, we're going to fill that gap in between so that there's a podcast every week and just do a short one each, um, like 10 minutes just sharing a story with you. Uh, this is all for the Lost and Found. Um, if you want to visit our site, I'll pop up our full address down the bottom here. Um, you can see all the full podcasts on there. What I wanted to talk to you about today was I wanted to give you back control over your iPod. Now, one of the things that Apple do, which is really annoying, is you can obviously load your MP3s onto your iPod. And um, when you go into iTunes, you can't just drag those MP3s off your iPod and onto your computer. There's no easy way of transferring music from and video from your iPod back onto your computer. You can't just drag it across. There's lots of software out there uh, that you can Google for and you can buy that will allow you to extract the music off your iPod. But I'm going to show you an uh, easy and free way that you can do it with Windows. I'll run it with Windows Vista and then with Windows XP because it's slightly different the way it works. Um, but yeah, by the end of the next 10 minutes you'll be able to do it yourself for free. Okay. Okay, so working in Vista first then. Um, what the first thing you need to do is open iTunes and connect your iPod. This will pop up here. On the first screen you need to make sure that manually manage music and videos is ticked. Make sure this is ticked and applied. Okay, with that done, I need, now I need you to hold down the Windows key and press F. This will bring up the search box. If you go over to advanced search, tick down, you can change the location of the search to your iPod. It should be on one of your list of drives. Now go up, uh, show only, change to music. You've got the options here for title, artist and album. So I'm going to search for sketches. Click search. You can put album in if you want album specific. What this is now doing is searching all the files on my iPod. Uh, they are on there as MP3s, um, but the iPod renames them uh, funny names so that you can't work out what's what and just drag it off. Um, thankfully with the Windows search what we're doing here is you can see here there's the artist column and there's the album column so we can actually see what these are. There we go, now it's completed the search. We can search by album um, and I could just select all of these files and copy them and paste them into a new folder on my desktop. New folder, sketches, and paste. So here we go. It's copying the whole album now onto my into onto my desktop in that folder. They've all got funny names. So the easiest way to do this, really, you can sit and rename them all. Um, obviously, we don't know what the tracks are. If you go back to iTunes. We'll just go down to the playlist section. We can drag these in and drop them on playlists. And there you go, they've all come in now. So there's all the, the title names are still there. Um, so if you're going to play them in iTunes, then it's fine. Um, you can just drop that into your music library and use them straight away. Okay, now we'll look at um, XP and how that's slightly different. Okay, now I'm on my laptop uh, using XP. We're going to do a very similar thing again. Uh, so if you hit Windows F, it'll open a search window. Let's just maximize this now. If you go to Pictures, Music or Video, we'll select Music, go down to Use Advanced Search Options, More Advanced Options, and yep, Search Hidden Files and Folders. want to change the location it's looking in to the actual iPod, and then in the second search box where it says a word or phrase in a file this is where we want to search for either the artist or the album name so I'm going to search for sketches which is a band make sure that your Windows Explorer can view hidden files and folders and um, we're going to go to tools folder options hit the view tab go down to show hidden files and folders and click OK cool now let's run our search it takes quite a while to complete but once it's found them all. Um, but there they all are with their funny file names as well. So we're going to change the way that we can see them. If we go to view and select details, it'll actually give us a list of these files. 
Um, now that you can change their name, what we're going to do is right click on name and select uh, title. This shows us the song titles. Right click again and click artist. Right click again and then click album title. All these columns have appeared on the right, so let's drag them across to the left now. You can see that even though the file names are jumbled, um, you can still see here the title, the album title, and, and the artist. So we can see which files are which. We can sort by the album title. And then select the files off this album that I was looking for. With these files selected, I'm going to drag and drop them into a folder on my desktop. This will create a copy of them off the iPod and onto the desktop. Copy across fairly quick. If we open this folder, you can see the files there. Even though they've got jumbled names still, um, if we drag these into the library in iTunes, it will display the proper title names. Okay, so now you have complete access to your iPod. I hope this has been really useful for you, and um, check back next week for a full podcast. Cheers. Bye.